All right, thanks, Ryan. Well, substance abuse is an issue that affects us all, and COVID magnified the impact on so many people. August 31st marks Overdose Awareness Day, and here to talk about this important topic is Dr. Jonathan Craig Allen, Vice President of Addiction Services with Hartford Healthcare. Doctor, welcome back. Thank you. So COVID took a toll on those suffering from substance abuse. Just how bad was it as you look back? Well, in 2019, we had the highest numbers ever in Connecticut. And then 2020, we were up by 14%. This happened across the country, but it didn't, it didn't, um, it didn't let Connecticut uh, get away with it. Um, the most unfortunate piece is that in 2021, the numbers look like they're going to be even higher. Oh, all right. Numbers look to be um, what can we do to fight the stigma of addiction? A lot of people just are too afraid to get help and get education and treatment to people. You have to remember that um, substance use disorder is a chronic recurring disease and it behaves like other chronic and recurring diseases. Some people think because substance use disorder, the way it presents itself, impacting the way people think and the way people behave, it, it's different. But uh, we want to prevent it, like with other chronic diseases. If somebody uh, develops a substance use disorder, we want to intervene as early as possible. But the most important thing is to get treatment because treatment's available and treatment works. All right, Dr. Allen, talk about what kinds of services are available to help people. Yeah, um, medication is the gold standard uh, for treating um, an opioid use disorder, and so an FDA-approved medication opioid use disorders, buprenorphine, otherwise known as Suboxone. A change in the federal law allows any medical provider to write that prescription if they're comfortable with it. Rushford has inpatient, outpatient, in-person, virtual treatment programs available. But if someone's not ready for treatment, it's important to reduce the harms, reduce the risks. Naloxone is really important, the opioid overdose reversal medication, and don't use alone. And the state of Connecticut has good Samaritan laws. So if you give someone naloxone or you call 911 when someone overdoses, you're not gonna get in trouble. Important to remember those things. All right, excellent point. All right, in honor of Overdose Awareness Day, tell us about the upcoming event planned for Saturday. It's going to be Saturday in Hubbard Park, Rushford, in conjunction with the city of Meriden and the Meriden Healthy Youth Coalition are going to be hosting this event. And the event is part of an international um, campaign to end overdose and remember those who have lost their lives without stigma and to acknowledge the grief of families and friends. This event in Meriden is going to be a family-friendly event. There's going to be uh, concerts on uh, naloxone training, interactive games, um, and, uh, and prizes. Uh, also, community-based vendors will be there. It should be a really good time. Sounds great. And quick last question. If someone wants help and doesn't know where to turn, what would you suggest? Can they call 211, talk to their doctor? Maybe they're too embarrassed. Yes, yes, and yes. You can call 211. You can talk to your doctor. Um, you can call Rushford. You can call any one of a number of treatment agencies available throughout the state. Help is out there and help works. All right, Dr. J. Craig Allen, great information. Thank you. It sounds great for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.